Welcome to our series, Questions and Answers for a World in Crisis. Truth. Today, we have the opportunity to learn from the words of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother the meaning of truth and its absolute importance in our lives. From the Mother. The world is a place of falsehood, and it is only in the silent depths of the divine that one can find the peace of truth. When men will be disgusted with the falsehood in which they live, then the world will be ready for the reign of truth. Twenty sixth November, nineteen seventy two, Mother writes Before dying, falsehood rises in full swing. Still, people understand only the lesson of catastrophe. Will it have to come before they open their eyes to the truth? So I ask an effort from all, so that it has not to be. It is only the truth that can save us. Truth in words, truth in action, truth in will, truth in feelings. It is a choice between serving the truth or being destroyed. <clears throat> truth is above mind. It is in silence that one can enter into communication with it. Truth is eternally beyond all that we can think or say of it. He who sincerely wants to serve the truth will know the truth. Truth cannot be formulated in words, but it can be lived provided one is pure and plastic enough. The truth is neither in separation nor in uniformity. The truth is in unity manifesting through diversity. Intellectually, the truth is the point where all the opposites meet and join to make a unity. Practically, the truth is the surrender of the ego to make possible the birth and manifestation of the divine. Naturally, all these discussions or exchanges of opinion are purely mental and have no value from the viewpoint of the truth. Each mind has its way of seeing and understanding things. And even if you could unite and bring together all these ways of seeing, you would still be very far from attaining the truth. It is only when in the silence of the mind, you can lift yourself above thought that you are ready to know by identity. A 15-year-old girl asked, What is truth? I answered, The will of the Supreme Lord. It is a subject 
for contemplative meditation. 18 March 1972 This truth that man has vainly sought to know will be the birthright of the new race, the race of tomorrow, the Superman. To live according to truth will be his birthright. Let us do our best to prepare the coming of the new being. The mind must fall silent and be replaced by the truth consciousness, the consciousness of details harmonized with the consciousness of the whole. 19 March 1972 Let the truth be your master and your guide. We aspire for the truth and its triumph in our being and activities. Let the aspiration for the truth be the dynamism of our efforts. O oh, truth, we want to be guided by thee. May thy reign come upon earth. 16 December, 1967. When one lives in the truth, one is above all contradictions. 16 December, 1968. Teach us to be really sincere in our effort towards the truth. 23rd April. 1957. Effort towards the truth should exist in every man of goodwill. Our life ought to be governed by the love for truth and the thirst for light. Absolute truthfulness must govern life if one wants to be close to the divine. Let the light of truth be born upon earth from today and forever. 21st February, 1953. The light of truth broods over the world to permeate and mold its future. Everything must be transformed by the knowledge of the truth. Take truth for your force. Take truth for your refuge. The only important thing is to follow the divine's truth with love and joy. The truth is in us. We have only to become aware of it. Blessed will be the day when the earth Awakened to the truth, lives only for the divine. The truth is in you, but you must want it in order to realize it. Let the flower of truth blossom within you. We aspire for the truth and its triumph in our being and our activities. Let the truth be your master and your guide. Let your consecration to truth be complete and constant. Be more eager for truth than for success. Supreme Lord, eternal truth, let us obey thee alone and live according to truth. June 1971. The moment approaches when the truth will govern the world. 
Will you work to hasten its coming? Blessings, 1971. This earth is still governed by ignorance and falsehood. But the time has come for the manifestation of truth. From Sri Aurobindo. The scientist pursues his discoveries in order that he may know the law and truth of the process of the universe. And their practical results are only a secondary motive of the inquiring mind and no motive at all to the higher scientific intelligence. The philosopher is driven from within to search for the ultimate truth of things, for the one sake of truth only, and all else but to see the very face of truth becomes to him, to his absorbing mind and soul of knowledge, secondary or of no importance. Nothing can be allowed to interfere with that one imperative. And there is the tendency to the same kind of exclusiveness in the interest and the process of this absolute. The thinker is concerned to seek out and enforce the truth on himself and the world, regardless of any effect it may have in disturbing the established basis of life, religion, ethics, society, regardless of any other consideration whatsoever. He must express the word of the truth, whatever its dynamic results on life. And this absolute becomes most absolute, this imperative most imperative, when the inner action surpasses the strong coldness of intellectual search and becomes a fiery striving for truth experience, a luminous inner truth living, a birth into a new truth consciousness. The enamored of light, the sage, the yogin of knowledge, the seer, the rishi, live for knowledge and in knowledge because it is the absolute of light and truth that they seek after. And its claim on them is single and Absolute. To find the truth, to live the truth, we must begin by finding it in its purity and living it. As is the start, so is the end. Our steadfastness, our faithfulness must be unalloyed. Our sincerity of utmost purity. It is truth alone that leads to truth. A compromise or semblance leads only to the untruth. Do not imagine that truth and falsehood, light and darkness, surrender and selfishness can be allowed to dwell together in a house consecrated to the divine. The transformation must be integral and integral, therefore, the rejection of all that withstands it.